Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And kind of ironically, I just did a video on where the arrow shapes were in 2019. They're under the Polygon tool under Common Shapes. And then somebody emailed me, or I think they left me a message on one of my videos. How would you make a arrow shape instead of the dotted line shape like I did earlier today? Well, just take you a rectangle. And if you have... 2019, I'm going to show you both ways with 2019 or without. We're going to take this arrow shape right here. We're going to fill it in. We're going to take away the outline. We're going to rotate it to 90 degrees. We're going to go to a range and object to path. We're going to select our object and then hold down the shift. We're going to select our path and we're going to put it in the center and we're going to hit apply. And then you can take away your rectangle and you've done it. Now, if you do not have 2019, you can do it basically the old-fashioned way, which I just did here. Let's move this one out of the way. Let's bring our rectangle up. We'll make it a little bit narrower. Let's take this object. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And let's put the very end of the back and put it in the center right to the edge. Control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the control button and move it to that edge. Let's get rid of the object to path. And in any corral, you can blend. So let's grab these two and let's blend just four. Hit apply. You know what? Let's do five. The default is set on uh, 20. It's control D and make a duplicate. And there's two ways to do this. If you knew the dimension of your box, you could just nudge it down. But if you don't, you can just do it that way that it should pop to it. And then in a blend, these are in a blend, so you can't use them, but you can use this outside one. So control D and make a duplicate of it. And actually, we want these going, or I would think you'd want these going in an order. So let's go control G. And then let's mirror them the opposite direction. So the arrows will be going the same way. We're going to put this thing at zero. And we're going to put it about right there. We're going to control D and make a duplicate. And holding down the control button so I stay on the line. I'm going to grab those two shapes. This time I'm just going to have three. Hit apply. Control, D, uh, control G, make a duplicate of it. Or, or get them all together. And I did already hit control D and just move it. But since they're in the group, we want them to go the opposite way so we can mirror them. So now all the arrows are going in the same direction. That's really the only way you can do it. And then you can take your box away and you have arrows and you can space these out more evenly. And even you could even play with corners. You know, we could have Let's delete that one. Whoop. That was a group. So we have to go to range, break, blend apart. Let's delete that one and that same thing. We have to break the blend apart. And you could put this in the corners and uh, play around with it. Kind of a cool effect. Now they're not going to be going in the same direction. Um, but it is a pretty cool effect. And we're not quite even, but that's uh, put your nudge factor real low and just kind of nudge it over to where that one arrow is on the point of the other one. That would be a pretty cool look. And if you wanted them, just to add a little side note, if you wanted them all going the same direction, let's left click this thing and have no fill and right click. You could always put a a line holding down the let's get the two point line hold down the can, Corel does that sometimes hold down the control button so it's parallel and then you could fill in this shape and then your select it all and we'll right click no field no outline and then you could actually move that up and and they would and you could have this as long or short as you like Anyway, 
I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.